Hello, everybody. Waiting for it to say I went live on my phone so I can share it everywhere, but it's taking a minute. Um, let's try again. Ping ping chicken wing. Hi, Andy. There we go. It says I'm live. Share. I hope you're doing good, Andy. Chilling with my plants. Nice. That sounds like a good time. Hold on. Got to get a picture for Instagram. <laughs> Did it take? Okay, it did. Cool. That's not a bad one. Is this a listing party or a show and tell? This is going to be a listing party. And show and tell. It's going to be both. It's a rave. Yeah. <laughs> Live on YouTube. Steve and Donna, did you guys go to that sale? Did you find some good stuff? Why is like, wait, hold on. There we go. Sorry, this thing likes to shake. Hi, Matt. Okay. We got stuff. We got stuff to list. I've been listing already here for like an hour to get in the mood to list. Donna found a box full. That's awesome. I found a few things there. Um, some of it's actually right here. Like, look at this. I found this at this sale. It's a little dirty. It needs to be cleaned up. But look at this adorable cross stitch. Let me throw it on the pneumonias I found the other day. I'm ready to rave. Heck yeah, Andy. Pneumonias are good money. Um, but yeah, we found a few things. I also found this there. I need to look it up. It looks like it might glow, but it's a candle holder. It might be Amberina. Yes, it is Amberina. It kind of glows. You can kind of see it there. See that? Woo! -hoo. It's a glowing glass rave. So we'll have to look that up. We're going to look that up here. I also got a haircut. We're feeling, we're feeling good about the hair. And it's really poofy because my stylist knows how to do hair really well. <laughs> I also got this. Look at that. It's so cute. It's got butterflies and flowers on it. I lost a lot of pink. Um, it's just underneath. It's just the way my hair is like going forward. It's still there. It's just underneath. And then we shaved the sides. Because, you know, I got my sides shaved, so those are shaved. So when I put my hair up, I look real cool. Anyways, we're going to look this up. Need the side shave, especially, like, in the summer if I put my hair up. Callie Cal Deals, I sent out your stickers yesterday, so you should be getting them soon. What in the world, Mo gets... Because Mo always misses, and she told me to at her, and I'm sure you guys would see it. So anyways, we're going to look up this glass thing. Um, I've never seen one like it before, and I like it even more now that it glows. I, I thought it did when I saw it, but I couldn't test it until I got home. So let's take a picture. Yes, Cali Cal Deals got the special edition ink picker sticker. This is a Viking, Viking candle holder. Um, someone here have worth point? <laughs> 
I see some worth point listings, but I don't see eBay. I guess I could look it up. Viking Bullseye. Hold on. Viking Bullseye. The first one I see is this orange one for 70 bucks and then 60 bucks for the green one. And I'm like, what? Hold on, let's look at the solds. We'll put red. There's different colors apparently and that's awesome because now I want all the colors. I had to go to the UPS store today because I didn't have any 16 by 16 by 16 box. Nice. Um, okay, why is it? Okay, I like refined my search and then I lost everything I was just looking for. I just want to see what's sold. M Matt VCC and Worth Point trial, free Worth Point. Mo's here. Mo made it, guys. She's not missing. Okay, this is like a $40, $50 candle holder. I didn't think anything of it. It's not even marked. I was just like, this looks cool, and like the bottom kind of looked amberina-y. It had that like yellow tint to it. It's, yeah, 54, 48, 57, cute. Okay, guys. Viking Bullseye Red Candle Holder. I'm going to research just a little bit more, see what's listed and what's sold. Nice. Is it really Viking? It says it's Viking. Moe's had one, she says. I didn't know Viking made this. The cheapest one right now is $45 plus shipping. The next one's $38 plus $16.95 shipping. But yeah, it's like a, I don't know, $40 to $50 candle holder. Awesome. I'll show you some other stuff that I just listed already. Um, I got this earlier today. It's a little wind-up toy. Happy kitten in the box. Hi, Jody. I picked this up for five. It's not a great pickup. Maybe I'll get 10, 15. I thought it was worth a little more when I looked it up, but we got this. And it, it works. It's awesome. This is a Facebook Marketplace buy. It's a little turtle clock. I would keep it, but I don't know. I bought it to resell, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should keep it. And I'm like, no, I should sell it. Um, it doesn't work. It's a wind-up clock. And when I go to wind it, it, like, doesn't wind anymore. So I think it was just over overwound, and that's what's wrong. But it is marked West Germany, guys. Always look out for West Germany on things. I don't know. I feel like that's a good pickup or good things to look out for. Yeah, we got this little turtle dude. Really cute. Also got this candle holder. And you'd think nothing of it, but on the bar bottom it's marked Mari Mecco. Mary Mecco. Unfortunately, I just have one, but if I had two of them, it's actually worth more than buying two individually, it seems. But I just have the one. I also picked up I picked up these last night on Facebook Marketplace for 10 bucks. These are George's Briard. I think it's St. George's Briard or is it just George's Briard? I can't remember right now. But I've sold his glasses before or this maker's glasses. Um, they're worth good money. Usually 22 karat. But this one is awesome. Stained glass looking. A set of five. I listed them for 100 Where did I put them at? It was over 100 bucks but the set of five of them. But that's like all I've been listening. I've been kind of watching some videos and working on some other stuff, which you guys will find out about soon in my videos. I've got videos scheduled out to April 30th now. I've got like four or five videos already scheduled, about three days apart. So you guys will be getting good content, especially when I'm gone. I'm going on vacation here in a week. A week from today we're leaving, going to Vegas for some concerts, and um, I wanted to make sure that there was content for you guys. And I will be doing like a travel vlog, so I'm going to be so excited because I love to do travel vlogs, especially with like flying and stuff. And um, But yeah, if you guys actually look on my channel, there's a playlist and I actually made one for travel vlogs. So you guys can see some of my travels. I know I did a Vegas one for last year. 
did one for Cincinnati and I thought I did some more maybe just some day trip ones okay we're gonna list this at oh it is Viking um I see it now on someone else's candle holder it's supposed to have a little sticker but mine doesn't oh yeah Colorado I did do a Colorado one yes I forgot about that I'm gonna list that 50 just 50 even call it good uh it does glow so I want to put that Viking glass red bullseye we'll take out that they put bullseye twice amberina glows there we go and we're gonna get some pictures of it glowing because i don't see anyone mentioning that it glows but i hope everyone's having a good day i'm having a good day it's been it's been crazy it's been busy you guys will see why coming up in videos but we'll be caught up here pretty quickly with how frequently I'm doing videos and I also haven't recorded personally right now like in the past couple days um so obviously if I don't record footage is gonna catch up I kept that fairy lamp only because it glows great and my very first one keep it until I see another I actually found a couple today they're the cheap ones though but still I did find two I think they're the Indiana glass ones. Let me turn that over and get the glowing on the bottom. For some reason with Amberina pieces, I noticed that they glow better on the bottom. Like, but anyways, guys, there we go. $50 candle holder. Um, so at that sale that I was talking to Steve and Donna about, I paid 60 bucks and basically filled up the back of my car. We'll make our money back. Obviously, this already, if I sell it for 50, I've already made most of my money back. But I also have a couple things in there that already we're going to make my money back anyways. So, I love candle holders. I love them so much. Like, they're just so cute. Especially this one. I need to look this one up. It looks like nothing special, but if anything, I can maybe throw it in my my antique case or showcase, whatever. Mm, let's take off the measurements here because I put measurements in the photos. Um, sweet. Okay, we got that listed. Now we get to look up this one. This butterfly. I almost want to say it's Avon. It does have a letter or something on the bottom. Oh, it has a number three on the bottom. Actually, let's do $52. $52 sounds good. Um, we'll do one pound shipping. It is heavy, but with the shipping discount should be, should be okay. There's 11 of y'all in here. Hello, guys. Welcome. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you. Let's wipe this down while I let that listing upload and then we'll see what this one's worth. Yeah, lots of glass from that sale. Uh, let's put it on the listing table here. Hmm. It's kind of a hard thing to take a picture of because it wants to say it's like a drinking glass when it's just like a little votive. Oh, there we go. It's just it's just on there for like 14 bucks. I'm going to keep this for a booth, I think. I like put like 8 bucks, 6 bucks on it. Does it glow? Oh my gosh, it does glow. Oh my gosh. Let me turn this turn this off. Look at it. Wow. I kind of like it. I kind of want to keep it. I just don't know what I'd do with it. But yeah. Glows like orange all over. Huh. Well. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to put it off to the side with my booth stuff right there for now. It's a little too small for a pen holder. 
And I don't like use pens all the time. I have one pen on my desk and that's it. I also got this at that sale. It is marked hand painted um, in delft blue. But it's just a little candle stick holder. I don't think it's actually worth that much. Um, but it does say made in Holland on it. So, I don't know. Oh, and Matt, did you get your package yet? Matt bought something from me. And Mo got hers. Bye, Amy. Have fun. Let's Google Lens it. I noticed, noticed she said buy, B-U-Y. I think she did that on purpose. <laughs> Delft blue, little, oh, it's not worth that much. And it is chipped. Okay, we're gonna put that off to the side. There is a little chip. I was like, oh, maybe I could do booth stuff, or like, um, in the case, but it is chipped. And I don't know if I want to put that in there. What else? We got a ton of stuff. I also got this little, little, <laughs> like, treasure chest thing. And it has some random little things in it, like this little, little pocket knife. Um a patch just some random stuff but it's got this insert that you take out and you see at the bottom but I thought it was a cute decor item not for eBay really really well but this is my third one actually no I picked up this in several colors I've gotten pink and amber and this is the third color this is a Jeanette trinket dish and I know this because it's one of the several ones I picked up like I said but this one Ta-da! isn't it cute I don't know how much this one's worth but the pink ones I sold were around I think 20 to 30 I'm assuming the clear glass ones won't be as much, but maybe they will be a little bit better because they're a little bit more easier to match with things. That's my thinking, but I'll wipe it down here and look it up. And I did just release a video today, guys. I didn't really post about it, but there is a video today. It's a GoPro video. And I forgot to bring my, well, I brought my GoPro today to sales. But I forgot to put the dang SD card in it, so I couldn't use it, which sucks. But it's okay, because the two sales I went to that I could have used it for, I didn't find much. So it wasn't enough to even, like, make content. A big mouth fish you have in your antique cabinet is the same one Mikey Bags Money has, but a different... In my antique cabinet. Big mouth fish in my antique cabinet. Oh, yeah, that, that MCM, like, giant fish bowl thing. I thought you were talking about, like, a big mouth Billy Bass. So I'm like, what? I'm like, I didn't put one of those in my booth thing. Booth thing? Booth case, booth showcase. I have so many <laughs> words for it. Okay, this one isn't worth that much. $12.99. So... Should I put it on eBay or should I keep it for booth? Which I did make a booth sale again today, guys. I was really excited. I just happened to look it up. Um, I just happened to look on the little website thing that I can see. and It would notify me later tonight, but I just like to check it throughout the day. Because I'm like, ooh, did I sell something yet? And I sold one thing for $5. <laughs> hey, it's something. So that makes five items I've sold in there so far. 
Beard King Picker, hello. So now Jeanette, clear, glass, deer. The deer trinket dish. Um, 11 listed. Lowest one is $12.99. And two sold. Honestly, I'm going to throw this in the booth. Or the, the case. Oh my gosh. You know what I mean when I say that. I'm going to throw this in the case. I think smack 10 bucks on it and call it good. I think. It's a cute little unique piece. There's little hairs floating around. Oh, the next thing I picked up was this. It's a roller skate planter. It's even got the little cap on the bottom. I thought this was interesting. Um, if anything, throw it on dollar auction because no, it's not milk glass. It's just, it's a contemporary ceramic piece. Um, yeah, it's not worth anything, but I thought I'd throw it on dollar auction because right now people are planting stuff or I could maybe use it, but um, I don't think I will. I'll see, I have some plants right now that I'm propagating, so maybe one of those could go in here and I could try to sell it or something. It's got some sticker residue on the bottom here. There we go. Yeah, we'll see. This is just, it was just a cute piece. I like when these planters have the cap on the bottom and everything so you don't have to worry about the water draining, especially with things like succulents and cactuses. Next thing I picked up was this little, all this stuff guys I picked up without looking up except for a couple of things, which I will get to, but the next thing I picked up was this little butterfly music box and especially since I have the case now at the antique mall it helps me to like pick up things that I just like because they're cute but Hong Kong butterfly music box anybody know that song because I don't I've ever heard that song before. Anyways, cute little butterfly music box. Let's go lens that. Um, I guess I haven't tried. I don't know if it would work on a music box. Okay, Mo knows what it is. Okay, um, this one sold with the box for 30 bucks. Butterfly music box. I'm just gonna put it and see. See if I can find one listed. Might be kind of difficult. Actually, doesn't it say Hong Kong? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I don't know if that music detection app would work for it. Seven bucks, but that one's sung over the rainbow. Um, any other Google Lens? Cause that other one had the box. That might be also a booze item slash dollar auction or something. But hey, gotta keep it stocked, so. Next thing I got from that sale. Two little floral 
candle. Are these all like candlesticks still, even if they've got the little ring on it? Got those. I also got some other glass pieces that I already took out earlier from the sale that I'm that are going in the booth because they just aren't worth listing. Like, got a Fenton Ruffle milk glass basket that I'll probably throw in the booth for like twelve bucks, maybe. But yeah, we got these two, and I like how they're a pair. So they're all cute and decorative. I just need to find some candles that can actually go and stuff like that before I put them in the booth. Booth, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't know why. Lincoln seems to have a lot of good glass. Um, hmm, let's see. I Google Insta it and it didn't quite come up with um, there's one that's similar. It's called a chamber stick candle holder. Brass chamber stick candle holder. Those are very cute though. Um, I'm gonna put flower because they're kind of flower shaped. Honestly, pairs of two of these don't sell bad. I mean, maybe, excuse me, maybe like at the cheapest, 12, 15 bucks. But yeah, I need to figure out what I want to keep. Ah, the city's always nice, a nice visit. I should go out there and thrift sometime. Where are you at, Jody? Oh, Syracuse. Syracuse, Nebraska? You're not too far then. Yeah, Lincoln, I enjoy. Um, oh, New York. I thought you meant Nebraska. I got excited. Because <laughs> we have a Syracuse here too. I got all excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's, I'm going to list these. What? Shane, thank you. Can I like it? Will it let me like it? Yay, I liked it. Thank you, Shane. I appreciate that a lot. Are you working right now? Are you at work? What's pimping, pimping? When's your, um, your disc track coming out? I'm anxiously awaiting who you're dissing. <laughs> okay, so these chamber sticks, I'm gonna list the two of them. These are cute. I'm gonna start at 22 and see what happens. Lads here, what is up? Haven't seen you in a while. I need 81 more hours to be in the Cool Kids Club. Woo, Matt, you're almost there. Now you gotta have a video blow up like mine and then not make any money on it because it was before you got monetized. <laughs> Thanks, YouTube. I can't imagine how much that video would have would have got me. You're very welcome. Yeah, I'm working. Not sure when the next diss track is coming. Still writing lyrics. Oh boy. This one's gonna be good, guys. Best, best video is 3.9k. I think my second best is around 9,000. So going from 9,000 to 30,000. State how caring would be a gift to you, Matt. Yes. Start a fight with somebody. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put these at 22 and see what happens. I think that would be good. Um... They didn't spell decorative, right? Vintage pair of brass chamber holder candlestick candlestick holder loop dip tray flower. 
Oh, drip tray. They put dip tray. <laughs> you have to have the drama, Matt. Come on, Matt. We, we all know you're a little drama queen. Come on now. My best video was a short that hit 30,000k. Oh my gosh. Can I? 30,000k? <laughs> 30,000 views a year before I became monetized. Wish I could hit those numbers on something now. Yeah, seriously. YouTube's like, all right, this person's almost monetized. Time to blow up their video and then monetize them. Here we go, we'll do 22 and see what happens with those. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't been picking up a lot of brass because some of my brass pieces just aren't selling, but those are really cute. I also have a different kind of video coming up for you guys soon. Actually, I think it's here in a couple weeks. Or actually, no, it's here in like a week and a half, we think. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. You'll have to let me know. And a travel vlog. Once I get back from Vegas, I'll have a whole travel vlog of the whole thing and the whole concert and everything. I just want to make it with you guys so Shane can complain about me. Oh god. You mean so he can diss you? I'm sure, I'm sure if you want to be dissed. Ooh, I got a, got an offer. Guys, let's look at this offer on the stream. Hold on. We'll do one pound shipping. Someone's outside mowing right now. I swear it was raining just a little bit ago. Checking out this offer. Oh, the last L.L. Bean. I picked up these L.L. Bean um, flannels. Eight bucks a piece. I had four different ones. I had like blue, green, pink, and purple. I've sold all of them except the pink one, which I'm about to sell right now because they offered 30 bucks. Done. We turned $32 into $120. So I think all of them sold for 30 bucks. No, one sold for 29. So if I'm trying to make that money, guys, I get paid technically one more time before Vegas and I need that money so I can spend money at Sick New World and get some cool merch. Monday night on my live show I got challenged to rap battle from someone I've never heard of lol so obviously I, I accepted the challenge. Oh! Can you tell me more about this? I found the bottom of one fairy lamp. But I couldn't find the top, which kind of sucks. But I'm going back to that sale tomorrow because they said they'll have more stuff to set out. And hopefully I find the top. I also found this fairy lamp or candle holder. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? It's a little dirty. Needs cleaned up. Oh, it's chipped. No, it's chipped. Let's look it up. Filipino Flipper, I think. Daniel's his name. Super nice guy. I don't know if I've ever heard of him. Hmm. That one is a fairy lamp. Indiana glass. Um. Yeah, 30 bucks. Indiana... Glass Pebble Leaf, Indiana Glass Pebble Leaf, Fairy. I had to check if it glowed because I just saw another piece that looks just like it that was glowing and I was like, what? Oh, it actually has a decent sell through rate. There's a bunch of different colors. Um, Unfortunately, mine is like the, the cheapest one. He told me he used to rap, so he'll probably, make, probably smoke me. Either way, it'll be fun. He's your cousin, Andy? I don't know if Andy's actually... 
Thanks to the Discord for teaching me about fairy lamps. Had one to state how I went later in the day, but there one was on the end of the table in front of the garage where everyone walked in. Nice! What color? Or have you like checked it out yet? Or was this a long time ago? This one's chips. I don't know. Should I still list it? Each one like this has watchers. So the cheapest one is around $29.95 with the box. Mine's without the box and has a couple of chips. I could probably still make 15 bucks. I don't know. That's just a guess. I'm sure if I put it cheaper than everyone else's, somebody's going to want it. Not too long ago. Oh, green viking. Viking's good. I actually have an amber viking one right now. Where is it at? It's on my shelf somewhere. Deep green, yeah. Like the, um, what do they call it? Like avocado green or emerald green? What's all in there? Gross. I'm so excited to go back to the sale tomorrow. Ooh, a mushroom? Mushrooms are, like, crazy. People are crazy mushroom collectors right now. And then here in, like, probably 50 years, you're going to be finding a bunch of mushroom stuff at garage sales. I mean, we're finding mushroom stuff right now, but when the mushroom craze is over... Oh, yeah, I remember that, that mushroom you found. So, yeah, clean this up. It does have a little stain right here. We're all cousins. <laughs> I work from home on Fridays and I go to Friday sales before working. I feel that. I couldn't imagine what I would do because I'd still fl do flipping. Like, even if I had a real job. And, like, I couldn't imagine, like, trying to juggle. Shaney, hello. Yeah, we got this one. I'm going to wait and think about if I want to list that. also picked up this really cute plate. It looks hand-painted. Oh, Shaney's struggling. Hello. I need to learn more glass from you and Matt, Alicia. Yeah, you should. Your buyer paid $42.45 for this, that flannel. I'm not drunk, I promise. But yeah, I picked up this cute little... It, it looks like it's hand-painted. I can't quite tell. We wipe the dust off. It is signed. I think it is hand painted. I don't know. I feel like this would go good in the... Look at that. And there is a signature right there. Very cute. Very, very cute. What does that say? Heinemann or something like that? Yeah, this is pa hand painted. For sure. Very cute. All right, gotta drive home. If you're still when I get there, I'll be back. Sounds good, Shane. Okay, what else? What else? Oh, I also found this piece there. Ooh, that's exciting, lad. Trying to get my husband to resell with me. <laughs> Although, like, it just doesn't make sense because, like, I make, compared to what he makes, I make, it's, it's nothing. Nothing. So, like, it doesn't make sense for him to resell with me unless, like, we were to, like, get a warehouse in, like, like, Grandma Pops and just, like, stockpile stuff and have it be, like, the job of two people, you know? Yeah, otherwise, it just doesn't make sense. What did y'all have for lunch today? I got Chipotle. I like Chipotle. Oh, um, this is worth like 18 bucks, I think. Yeah. This one's on there for 12. Three and a half inch tall. 
Yep. But they have $15 shipping. That's pretty high. I'm going to do 15 plus like my one pound shipping. Chipotle. My wife too. She'll love some of the handbags, clothes, and things I might get for her, but won't wake up that early to go. I'm not a morning person, but when it comes to garage sales, I, I'll go. my friend sent me a video and it was something like, oh, I have to, I'll have to find it. One second, guys. I think she sent it to me on Instagram. Let me see. Oh yeah, it has in quotes, it says, I'm not a morning person, and then it says me at 5 a.m. lined up at an estate cell waiting to go dig through some random dead person's cool old crap. <laughs> That's how it is. That's me sitting in the line waiting. It's not always dead dead person stuff, but you know, garage sales. Although it's not 5 a.m. for me, it's like at earliest 6.30 is when I'm waking up. I'm gonna list this for 15 cute little opalescent vase. Yeah, that too. I also got this opalescent divided dish. I don't know if it's worth a lot. We'll check real quick. Otherwise, it'll just go in the antique case or whatever for a decent price. Um, 20 bucks. Is that what it's showing? Hobnail opalescent divided dish. It totally didn't even put divided. Oh, they're calling it Moonstone. I forget that. Um, ten bucks. Hmm. There's a lot listed too. Uh, I guess booth or case whatever I keep saying booth because I am guys I am working towards getting a booth um I don't know when it'll be but I talked to the owner and he said there's two people he has to get in right now and then he can figure out one for me so when I say booth, it's because I've been thinking about the booth, but I also have a case, you know, so. Um, you guys will obviously see a video, but I'm also, like, thinking, like, oh, there's stuff. I need to start stockpiling stuff. But as per my video I did, what, three days ago, I think it was, where I moved into the case. Um, so that's that's my deal right now. But yeah, this will just wait. I'm... I'm not going to list it because it's only going to sell for probably like eight bucks. And honestly, I don't want to deal with the shipping, wrapping up this glass piece. But I do have a showcase, so um, I could probably throw that in there for like, I don't know, I'm thinking six or eight bucks just to sell it and call it good. And guys, watch out for tomorrow. Flippin' Fantastic Friday will have a new episode tomorrow. Oh, I also picked this up. I might keep it because it's really cute. Um, how does this set up? Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to figure out how this sits on here. 
It's one of those little cute little chip bowls. How does that go on there? Hold on. We gotta figure this out. Oh, that's how it goes. I got this because I thought it was super cute. And I don't know. This little chip, chip and dip bowl. Because my husband and I, we have chips and dip quite a bit. Kiddo. I'm not a kiddo. I'm halfway to 50. What are you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, I got this. Uh, <laughs> and I thought it'd be cute. And my husband and I like green. Green's been growing on me. Oh my god, so <laughs> um, so I thought this was cute. So when he gets home, I'll see if he likes it. If he doesn't, I'll probably throw it on dollar auction. Or I'll throw it in the case. Whatever. My son is your age. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's the other fairy lamp I found. I found this one today. I turned 50 in June. You're about my dad's age. I just turned 40 a few months ago, lol. Where is my water squirt bottle? I will spray Alicia. <laughs> Anyways, we got this fairy lamp. <laughs> it's one of the colored ones. So, hey kiddo, hello. Um, unfortunately these ones, they are the colored glass. Like, um, sorry, like tinted. So, the coloring rubs off. Unfortunately. So it's not like the, it's actually red glass. But does it glow? No, I didn't think so. But yeah, we got this one. Um, I sold one like this before. But I don't remember selling it for much. Flash glass, yeah, good call. Be careful with it, yeah. I have another fairy lamp that is the same as that, but it's actually chipping off, like, the color. And it gets everywhere. It's like glitter. Do you remember your very first glass piece when you started reselling? Um, one thing I remember I sold, and it was the first thing that ever broke in shipping, was a strawberry cookie jar. Like, decent size. And it was really cute. I got it for, like, three or four bucks, and I sold it for, like, 30 bucks, and it broke. And if I think back to how I shipped it, it was not good. Like, I knew nothing about how to ship. That's how you learn, though, right? You can only you know afford to have broken packages so many times before you're like oh yeah um time to learn and that's how i learned I, it broke and i was watching a lot of youtube videos at the at the time on how to pack and that's how you learn and i even opened a usps claim thinking <laughs> no i i just packed it really bad yeah i used to I used to watch a lot of shed flips. I, I haven't lately, um, but I still am subscribed to them. I'm just having a hard time keeping up with everyone's videos. So yeah, we'll look up this one. If it's not worth a lot, this would be a good piece to put in the booth. Because I found at the antique mall that my case is at, there's no... I haven't found any fairy lamps or swung glass or swung vases or anything like that. The stuff I get really excited about finding, I find none of that. So either people are buying it or nobody's selling it. I'm on boycott since I got banned from water cooler. <laughs> Poor Andy. <laughs> um, I see 25 bucks. Indiana red glass fairy lamp. When I hit my milestone, I'm going to watch as many of the small time YouTubers because at a certain point, the bigger ones don't need the support. Yep. I agree. Um, USPS is rough to get money out of for damaged goods. I just got a check from them, actually, this uh, last week. 
My first item that broke in shipping was a Budweiser Christmas Steam Stein Stein. If that tells you how early that was in my reselling career before they actually tried selling, to actually tried selling those. Yeah. Um, this is like actually a $20 fairy lamp maybe. So I'll list this, obviously. Yeah, it's like a $20 to $25 lamp. Um, I might do like $22 just to get it to sell quicker. It's called Stars and Bars. I'll do $25. Yeah, when you hit your milestone, um, Matt's going to eat a... Uh, what, what bug was it again? I can't remember. But you're going to eat something. A rhino beetle. Yeah, guys. Go subscribe to Matt. I'm sure most of the people that are here are, but go subscribe to him because... He's going to eat a beetle when he gets monetized. <laughs> so, check that out, guys. Okay, we're going to list this at 25. That coated glass or whatever it is. But then, like I said, I found the bottom piece to another one, but I didn't find the top. So I'm going back to that sale tomorrow, and hopefully I find the top. Is Mo here? If not, I, sh I can probably give someone else uh, mod privileges, so I can at least have like one mod on at any time that I'm live. I know my other mod, he's working right now. Actually, I should tell him I'm live, actually. I don't know if he'll jump in or not, but. I'm live. Let's see. Mo's here. Thanks, Mo. Mo's, Mo's on it. Mo's awesome. Check out her channel, guys. Mo's making videos now. Did you know that? Did you know? Mo started making videos. It's exciting. Then I found this creamer sugar. It's like carnival glassy. Never picked up one of these before. Looks like it glows. Mo's making videos and making that Mo money. <laughs> no money. Shekel not here. Time to run around naked. Oh God. Shekel will be here. Don't worry. This glows, by the way. <laughs> Andy, put your pants on. Andy, you coming to to Plains the Prophet next year? Is anybody here going to Plains the Prophet next year? Besides Mo. Mo said she's going. Mass out $7.97. Woo! Yeah, go follow Matt, guys, if if you're not already. He does lots of uh, GoPro videos. Mo, I'm doing yard work. I need to scare the city from giving me citations anymore. Oh gosh. I might not go to any meetups next year, Matt says. Well, we should go to Plains of Profits. We're the best out there. We're organized and we have fun. And you know what? Only like that whole thing. Only way I'm going is if Amy kidnaps me. Y'all are like a thousand miles away. I love to go to one of the reseller meetups eventually, but I'm down here in Florida. Well, at least the one we're doing is in Omaha, so, like, usually it's pretty easy to get a flight to Omaha. I'll go if Roman, ro Roman rooms with me. Oh, my gosh. Roman. Where's Roman? Get him in here. Get these plans made right now. Oh, this is a, this is a good one. Indiana... 
Indiana Carnival Red Creamer Sugar. Oops. If Andy goes, I might then. I don't want to be the, the token nation guy. Alrighty. You hear my dog up there? Make a noise. Hold on, let me check on her. She's got a cone on her right now. I need to make sure she's not doing anything naughty. What is she doing? Oh, she just laying, she just wants to go lay down. Oh. Okay guys, so these aren't worth a lot. I thought this would be worth more, This these carnival pieces. It's only worth like 20 bucks for the two. And honestly, I'd rather throw these in the booth for like, or the case for like 12 a piece. That's also another thing. There's not a lot of people that are doing carnival glass either. Brian and Chris might give me lip. What do you mean? Are they hating or something? Cone of shame, yeah. She's wearing a cone of shame for like two weeks. Driving back from the bins. Roman, Roman, you got a room with Andy at Plains to Profit, so he comes to Plains to Profit. Unrelated, but there was just a fist fight at my work and the owner came over and just watched. I plead the fifth. Oh, don't ruin the vibes over here, Matt. If they don't like me, just say that or something. Because now I'm going to think about that all day. Afterwards, he was like, boys will be boys, lol. Oh god, shackle. <laughs> A fist fight at work? That's pretty eventful. And here, here Andy's like saying he's going to start running around naked. Shackle, that's nuts. Did you video it? Dude, yeah, did you get a video, Shekel? <laughs> Most of the basic American glass types don't sell for a lot, unfortunately. Kind of say because it's all really cool. Kind of sad. Yeah, not nah, LOL. We don't even have bins here. Never been to one. you never been to the bins? I'm actually going to the bins this weekend. Um, I'm going to the Oddities Festival in Omaha. And um, my friend wants to go to the bins. So, okay, Shekel's here, pants on. They like you. They don't really care for the others. Ah. Uh, so they don't like Corey. Time to run naked again. Oh god. <laughs> okay, what are these listed at for cheap? It's like 20 bucks for the pair. So what about just the creamer? Like if I sell just the creamer? It's actually better if you sell them separately. I might throw those in the case. Wish I could come. Jody, you should. I'm taking mine off, so... Oh, God. Roman, how did your snip snip go yet? What? Archie's picking up me up from the airport when I get there next week. So I'm gonna see your buddy, Roman. Yeah, these are gonna go in the in the case. I think, I think they'll sell better on there anyways. In there. Roman is getting a vasectomy too. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? What is all going on? Shekel's getting a vasectomy? Actually? I didn't know this. Um, what else have I got the list? I'm part of, where, where am I? I'm in Nebraska. Kids are gross, I feel like. Well, I'm in the, sorry, I like picked something on my face, now I'm bleeding, that's awesome. I'm in the female vasectomy gang. It's not called a vasectomy, but I, I can't have kids anymore, so that's awesome. Um, that's just what I want, but you know, since we're talking about vasectomies, <laughs> I went to physical today. Oh gosh, he's probably not, I'm trolling from yesterday. I have a consultation for one in a couple weeks, yay! Fertile or infertile gang or whatever you want to call it. I wanted female nurse to do prostate. Oh my god. <laughs> Roman. <laughs> oh my gosh. I picked up this too. It's plastic. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's 
snip 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 gang in the house yeah since we're talking about that apparently Roman Archie corrupted you look at oh my gosh now my husband's bo bothering me for something I don't know what he These streams are fire. Yeah, we're talking about vasectomies and stuff. And uh, tell Connor to come on the camera and say hi. He's not home. Matt, Archie looking for sugar mamas. I got my two kids talking about getting that snip, though. I got I got animals, and that's good enough for me. I got my three cats, dog, snake, and a turtle. I'm good. I'm trying to get this battery out of here, and I can't. Ruby update, um, she's doing okay, um, the vet said to do hot compresses on her ear, and if it doesn't get better, to take her in, so, tomorrow, if anything, I should know, if, yeah, if this whole plan I have for next week is gonna be ruined or not for this festival, there's a, there's a slight chance that Connor's gonna have to stay home to take care of Ruby, and I go by myself to Vegas and I'm gonna have to go to one concert by myself if I don't find somebody to go with me I got one one and done Brian is coming to visit me and I am scared oh well hopefully she will be okay if Kay can't go I can 85% chance percent chance go she's fine she just got a hematoma in her ear, so her ear like puffed up like a balloon basically, and she started getting really sick and not eating, and this is a very food driven dog. If she's not eating, there is something really wrong. And um, we took her to the vet, they put a permanent drain in her ear, not permanent, but like a drain stitched in her ear so it could drain. And just yesterday we noticed like her inner ear was getting really swollen. So if we continue to keep having issues, cause she was supposed to be completely healed and done, before we leave to Vegas, but if we're having more issues, there might be a chance my husband has to stay and that I go by myself. So luckily my family's gonna be there. I have some cousins coming from California. I'm taking my one cousin to this festival next week. And so they'll be there, but I'm flying in on Thursday and they are not getting there till Friday. So I'd basically be by myself. Um, unless Shekel, I did tell him like, hey, this might happen. Um, do you want to go to this concert with me? <laughs> I've never met Shekel, so, um, how far from Vegas do I live? Um, quite far. I think the flight is, like, three or four hours. Um, but anyways, Ruby's doing better, though. I did a hot compress for her earlier, and it, like, took the swelling down a little bit. It, like, her ear seemed better, so, um, we're gonna check on it here later tonight. The other... One wasn't that friendly in person, but that could have been me. It was out, I was out of it all day. Oh wait, I was out of it that day at the ball game. The only reason I couldn't would be I could get the day or two off, but that would be a problem really, I see. Yeah, so Shekel might come if my husband for some reason isn't able to come with. Um, I'm a little stressed about it because I'm really looking forward to seeing my favorite band in concert because I haven't seen them before, and now, like, all this stuff's happening that, like, like, I, I'm just stressed out that I'm not gonna be able to see them at this concert, and it makes me a little sad, so we'll see. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Um, this, I might need to... Yeah, but if I get to go again is a question, because... It was hard enough to get Connor to go with me. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And, um, concerts aren't my husband's thing. So, like, I talked him into already going to this. Well, I didn't even talk him into it. It was just like, hey, I'm going to Sick New World with my cousin. It's like, if you want to go, cool. If you don't, cool. And then he decided he wants to go. And I'm like, hey, my favorite band's doing a pre-show before the thing. Um, and then he's like, all right, let's go. We'll be there anyways. And it was a whole thing. It's just, it's a little stressful. Oh, 
Oh, hey, there's corrosion in the compartment, but it still works. Look at that. Bring the cat and Archie will babysit. It's a dog. It's a dog. Good husband. He supports me. Yeah, he does. He really does. I love shows and really want to see Bring Me the Horizon so I'd be down. Yeah, I feel that. And Shekel, like, Shekel and I have been friends for, what, a couple years? Two, three years now? So, like, you know, we talk about music and crap all the time. I was just like, hey. Like, I was like, if you can't go, Shekel might be able to come and just go to the concert with me at least. Because my husband also doesn't want me going alone to this concert, which I get that. I don't either. Archie will go on a date. No. I don't know Archie. I don't know him very well. The 10 hour drive at the worst. Oh my gosh, Shekel. 10 hours? And the thing is, my original plan was to fly to San Diego, pick up my cousin, then drive from San Diego to Vegas. And I didn't realize it was like, what, six, eight hours? Roman, one day we'll go to, what? Oh, to a game. This I need to clean up before I list it. So I'm going to clean that up. What else do I got to list? I got some perfume. Last time I saw Bring Me the Horizon was 11 years ago. Oh man, what, what era was that? Pray for Plagues, Suicide Season, which, which era? San Diego to Vegas is five hours. Okay, yeah, so I was about to pick up my cousin and drive to Vegas because we weren't sure how she was gonna get to Vegas. She's only 19, so. We're trying to figure that out because I told her I'd, that we could go to this festival because like I'm super down with like a bunch of the artists there like super down to like see a lot of them so and this knocks out a bunch of people I want to see in one go rather than multiple um because some of the artists are so popular that like they're not going to come close to Nebraska <laughs> like uh people that are that popular don't really the closest is like what um probably denver but it's a desert and there's nothing but dirt for the whole drive mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i picked this up today guys we're gonna keep going i don't have a ton like i still have stuff here next to me but um one second I'm gotta work be in and out by shekel I want I am so hungry right now that I want to eat 20 Big Macs I would watch you eat 20 Big Macs you're gonna go you're gonna go live and eat 20 Big Macs you're gonna be like a competitive eater I used to watch one of those here on YouTube his name was Matt Stoney anyways I picked this up today guys L Oregon L Oregon cologne by Cody Coty, Coty, one fluid ounce. I paid ten dollars for it. Let's smell it. I don't know how I feel about that. It kind of smells like uh, like baby powder. Yeah, that's kind of what it smells like. That's weird. So can't get over people buying used cologne and perfume. <laughs> people buy it, I'll, as long as they buy it, I'll buy it. To sell. Uh, it gives me a headache watching you sniff that. <laughs> Stony scares me by how much he can eat. Yeah, dude's like so skinny and he can eat like, uh, it's crazy what he can eat. Oh, Oregon cologne, oops. I can't type. And this is the one ounce version. There was another one. Mike is in the house. It's not used, Matt. It's only used once it's on the skin. Hi, Mike. Make sure he behaves, Mo. And 
this perfume full sold for 70. Beard versus four is another fun competitive eating channel if that's your jam. It I used to watch it, but anymore like the eating sounds like I get really upset when I can hear people eat like mouth noises and um yeah so I kind of stopped watching uh like competitive eating channels he's like a Japanese dude half our size lol no restrictions I'm exempt you met him that's cool <clears throat> I wish the chat stayed up longer. Ah, uh, your anti mukbang ASMR. I feel you. That mass masticating sound gets me too. Yeah. Oh, it makes me so mad. It fills me up in a rage. I'm just like, I could just, I could punch somebody. And I'm not a violent person. <laughs> but eating noises make me want to punch someone. So I have earplugs. <laughs> so if I'm ever in a situation where I'm like out and it, the noise is particularly bad, I have earplugs for that. Because otherwise I need to remove myself from the situation before I get too upset. Next, flippin' fantastic. I eat, she rage. <laughs> Insert angry kid Alicia emoji. Yeah, that's literally me when someone's eating really loudly around me. How much do you think we'll sell this little perfume for? I would think I'm gonna put it up for like 55. Is it a cologne or a perfume? It's a cologne. Hey, we're getting some decent stuff listed though today, guys. So thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate that a ton. I'm trying to think if there's any new things going on. Oh yeah, check out my website, inkedpicker.com. Um, got my Inky Pinky sticker for sale. And it's like only, you can only acquire it if like I put one of the stickers in a giveaway or if you buy it through the website. This one's like a special sticker. But my other sticker, if like I get a viewer sale, I'll send them that sticker for free, you know. Or you can buy it off my website too if you want more, but... Or if you like see me at a meetup. Yeah, check it out. Inkpicker.com. And I got croc charms, but I don't know how to put them on the website. <sighs> like for a decent price. Um. Because like the shipping has to be like included and for free. I think that's how it goes. Unless it calculates. I haven't done that yet though. But I do have Inkpicker ink picker croc charms. I'm holding out for this stinky pinky ha 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 um that 55 i gave a canvas print to alicia and she didn't have to buy anything from me lol i didn't ask for a print i mean it's over here you guys want to see it don't mind my mess it's right there wow All right, what else? What else do we got to list? Oh yeah, there was another perfume I bought. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? Pay 10 bucks for that one too. Ah. 
Well, I hope everyone's having a good day. Tomorrow is Friday, and I'm going to be picking even more than I did today, so. Pink Panther? No, it's called, a. Uh, it's Max Factor. Kind of cute. It's still sealed. Like on the bottom. It's starting to peel, but it's still sealed. Max Factor Pink Cat. I'm just going to put that. Oh yeah, did you want to buy that cat candle for me? I thought you collected MCM cat stuff. Uh, show, can you show me a picture of that again? It's collectible in the vintage MCM community. Hello, I just got done watching your video. I like that basket you picked up. I meant to comment, but it's that purple and glowing green gl basket. I love that. That's awesome. There's something else you picked up that I really liked. It, it was a black... Um, it was that stretch vase or the swung vase, and there was like a fish or something that you picked up. Those are really cool. Yes, that was a fabulous Stevens and Williams basket. Very cool. That perfume cat looks kind of like Choo Choo Bear from Something Positive. I don't know what that is. This is new, right? Oneida. Yeah, Oneida fish. Oh, wait. It's it's not sealed, but, like, it's not used. There we go. Okay, I thought it was, like, you had to peel this bottom part, but no. But it's called Sophisticat. Actually, let's let's smell the perfume. Let's see what it's like. Cause if I really like it, I'll keep it. But oh, you have to take it out through the bottom. That's funny. There's a little. Those cats are usually missing the perfume bottle, so it's good that it's together. There's a lot of different colors for it too. Oh, that's strong. Wow. To be honest, I like the other one better. The one that smelled like baby powder. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we got... We got this perfume. I like the other one that I just listed better. But hey, that's, that's alright. I feel like all older perfumes smell the same. <laughs> well, time to list it. I like more of like a fruity perfume. My favorite one is actually, um, I have all the Billie Eilish perfumes. I like those. Um, particularly the first one she ever made. It's like a vanilla one. I like that one. And then, um, Kat Von D. She has the Sinner and Saint ones. Those are good too. I like those. Oh, let's see... Sophisticat. We got at least all of our money on this. Um, I thought it was like sealed, so that's why I was okay with paying 10, but. Oh, there's all different colors. That's so cool. It doesn't look like it's been used. Um, yeah, I just don't find myself being very successful selling on whatnot. I don't care to uh, to sell on there, honestly. I mean, same with live selling in general. Like, I just, 
I don't know. Dip Dip's been okay, but my last Dip Dip auction, um, I didn't do very well. So, you know, I was kind of like, meh. Um, I was a little disappointed in my results on my last one. But there was one where, like, Kevin and Dave were on it, and I did really well. But whatnot is tough to break into. If you want to move a lot of stuff with a little profit, it works, yeah. Yeah, it's just... I did for a little bit. Well, my opinion on that will be out tomorrow on our podcast. Yep. We did talk about it just a little bit. All right, what'd you send me, Mike? Because I don't know who told you I sold M or I buy MCM cat stuff. Or did you just see what I pick up? Sorry, Mike, I'm getting into your. Well, it's not even letting me click on it. What's going on with my phone? Hello? Oh, that's cute. It's a candle, you said? How much do you want for it? What's your eBay store? Inked Picker 2? It's inked underscore picker. Actually, if you look um, under any of my video descriptions, you it's all my links are down there. Yeah, I do do those cat bottle things. You do a lot of glass packing and shipping like 20, 30 glass things on, and whatnot, and it does not sound like a fun time. But yeah, people's audience will only be there when the people are there. Yep, $2 plus shipping. <laughs> Sounds good, Mike. I mean, if you picked it up for me, uh, I will I will take it off your hands. It's kind of cute, too. I like how it's a candle. My throat is bothering me. What else? What else? I have a lot of stuff to list. It's just... Um... Yeah, I think I do want to try knickknacks, but I just... I got my, I've got a lot of sources to sell stuff, um, and right now I'm focusing on eBay and the antique store right now. Um, I'm kind of dropping Facebook Marketplace, because um, we, my husband and I, kind of don't want people showing up at our house to buy stuff anymore, if that makes sense. Um... I'm still going to do a little bit of dollar auction, I think, but I think after that, I'm going to try to really not do many of those just because people showing up, it kind of, you kind of get skeptical. So I can't do live selling because it will piss off the wifey. We have limited space. Safety is key, I'd say. I'm going to let the antique store marinate for a while. Get your groove there first before branching out. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, right now I have to... Okay, I guess I'll, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. I got the little case, the one that you guys probably saw in my video. Hey, I just sold something. I sold a fiberglass bowl. Sweet. It's actually right there behind me. Sweet. We sold that. That would be awesome. That will be my first fiberglass piece out of my lot. Um, I, I have my initial small case that I showed you guys in my video that just came out recently. I actually got offered a second case. So I actually have two cases at the antique store right now. One is like four feet tall, maybe, maybe five feet tall. The other one's like seven or eight feet tall. It's full of stuff now. I've got like one of my swung bases in there and a lot of larger pieces. It's also a locked case, but... I talked to the owner and he was like, hey, um, he's like, I still want to get you a booth if you want one. And um, I called him today. I told him like, yeah, like I'll go through with a booth. Like, just let me know. <sighs> I got, uh, yeah, Matt, the thing is I don't have that many swung bases. I have maybe, 
I have two here right now. And then one in the antique booth. So I just have three right now. But I could. It's just I need to find them for a decent price. That's the thing. Um, so yeah, so moving into a booth booth, like an actual booth is coming. A booth is a lot of work. Lots of staging and refreshes. Yeah, I'm enjoying it, especially when this antique mall is not very far. It's just down the highway from me. So it's not very far. It's usually on my way to doing to go do other stuff. And it gets a lot of traffic because it's been in Lincoln for a long time. This place, the fun part is your personality in the booth. Yeah, and that's the thing. If there's something out there that catches my eye, even though if it's not worth a lot of money, I could throw it in my booth. Excuse me. I could throw it in my booth and, you know, stage it, make it look cute, you know, whatever. And sell stuff I like in the booth, not stuff that sells on eBay, you know? Like, I don't know, like, like this thing I just picked up. This little roller skate planter. I think that's adorable. It's, of course, it's modern. It's not a vintage piece. But I was like, this is really cute. It's unique. And it's perfect right now for springtime. So people are planting stuff and propagating their plants and all, all that kind of stuff. So I can find cute little knickknacks like that. Or like, um, you can also pick up more furniture, stage your booth. Yeah, that's a, a struggle because, um... My car can only hold so much furniture. I could borrow my husband's vehicle. He said I could if I needed to like go get something. But I need stuff that I can move myself. I don't want people helping me move furniture. So I'm not going to be getting big furniture. Stuff that's easy to move, which is great. Because actually this antique mall is really close to the university. So a lot of college students go there to shop. So of course I want stuff that's easy to carry. Because college students aren't going to want a giant buffet for China or whatever. So, or like a China hutch and stuff like that. Booth sounds fun. Yeah. And I, I love booth content. I love watching booth content. So I want to make booth content. Plus the aisles are pretty narrow. Yeah, the aisles in that one are pretty narrow. It is pretty crammed in there. Um, I will be honest. It wasn't my first choice. It wasn't my... First choice of an antique mall, but I got my foot in the door there. And they got me in because I was getting impatient and like the wait lists all around here. Every every antique store here has a wait list. This was the one I could get into the quickest. And actually the cheapest rent is at this place in town, so. You going to do some ink picker branding in the booth? Like put up a banner or something? I did put up a sticker with my link tree and it said like follow me on it. Um, but in the booth, I would like to do some sort of a sign or something. I just need to figure out like what I'm doing. Like get like a chalkboard or something and like draw on it. Do some cute design. The good thing I found food finally. Rome, what you got? I got pizza because I will eat one piece. But I will eat one piece because I can't eat bread. And that's the thing, I also, like, for the booth, like, I pick up stuff like this. This sells for maybe 8 to 12 bucks on eBay. I don't want to list this and ship it. I could throw it in my booth for around, I don't know, say 8 bucks and maybe sell it and not have to deal with the shipping. That's another thing. But I don't know. It takes a lot of time. Um, but I did get in the profit just today on my cases. Actually, on my one case. He's not charging me for this other case until next month. Um, but I'm officially in the profit and I only sold five things to get in the profit and these were little things. A couple of them were only five bucks, you know, but I'm in the profit right now after, um, after cost of goods. So yeah, it's a learning process. The worst thing that could happen is I lose a little bit of money and some time and move out. That's the worst thing that can happen, but Right now I'm enjoying it and I'm enjoying making the content. I did do like a time lapse which is coming up for you guys and I enjoyed doing that. I thought that was fun. I came in with my GoPro and I set up this other case and it was nice. Um, there was another place I wanted to get in at that's it's actually really nice um, but their prices are quite a bit. The price there for their cases, their showcases, is the same price as a booth at the place I'm currently at. 
and the place I'm currently at gets decent traffic. I was there last Sunday and holy crap, there was a lot of people in there. So it gets traffic and it's near downtown, stuff like that. And there was this other place I wanted to get into and they're like, yeah, you're actually, there's a couple people down on the list, blah, blah, blah. And then I called them. They're like, no, you're still like 20 people down. And I was like, what the heck? You guys like switched up on me. I started stockpiling furniture and stuff in my garage and I ended up having to get rid of all that furniture because I needed to put my car in the garage because we were going to get a hailstorm. <laughs> so it was a whole thing. I look forward to your new videos, Alicia. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I've got plenty, guys. Every three days I have a video coming out until the 30th. That's like up to where I've edited. So, yeah. Yeah, this, this other one's nice. I mean, it's not, it wasn't my first choice. It's not the vibe I want to go for, but they're getting me in and it's cheap and it's giving me time to learn and just figure out what works in a booth, what doesn't work, figure out pricing and dealing with people and stuff like that. So I'm happy there though, right now. But if it doesn't work out, I have options if I'm willing to wait. I did find this remote. I think it's worth something. That's why I put it in my listing box here. Any questions, guys? Any significance with the tattoo on your neck? It's just the design. It's just a half moon with spider webs and stuff, and it goes, it goes all the way down and onto my shoulder. It goes down here. I like, I just needed. I wanted something that was a filler and symmetrical. And something that could go as filler on the tops of my shoulders because that was a really awkward space that was not tattooed yet. So we just like incorporated it all. And I, I like it. I think my artist did a very good job with the whole thing. So she's awesome. I recommend her if you're in the area. <clears throat> what do you mean a sleeve? RS-212. How many tattoos do you have in total, Mrs. Inked Picker? Um, a lot. I lost count. I would say at least 25. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's bothering me. Um, I can't do a sleeve because I have pieces on, like, all of my limbs. So, like, I, I also never have wanted a sleeve. Because I feel like dedicating one area to like one design, I don't like that. I like it to be like a patchwork of things I like. Hello! All the cats are in here. We got Ninja and Seven. Where's Taco? Taco's not here. Oh, so for you guys that pick up remotes, did you know? I don't do tattoos because that will give the cop something to identify me. Oh my gosh. Did you know you can use your phone camera to test um, the, is it RFID? Or test this laser in here. But I think the batteries are dead. So let me see. Yes, I do it all the time. So, fun fact for you guys, that's how you test remotes without having, like, the TV or the device it goes to. I have one total tattoo, a dot, from when I accidentally stabbed my hand with a pencil as a kid. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have a lot of tattoos. Actually, even more than, like, when I decided on the name Inked Picker, but I knew eventually I would have a lot of tattoos. So, it would just start making more and more sense. <laughs> oh, and these are good batteries, too. So, that remote just must not work. Try it again. Hi, Taco. You're here too. You feeling better? You were sick earlier. I hope you're doing okay. I got home and he decides to barf.
Okay, I don't think this remote works, unfortunately. Doesn't work, sad. That camera trick with the remote is a very good trick that folks should know if they don't already. Yeah, this I thought I'd mention it because I forgot how I found out about that. Was it Harry Tornado? I think it was him or somebody that mentioned it. Don't do your own summer remote, which some remote on infrared. Oh, is that the case with this one? It's a good remote if it works. But no, no solds, just listed. So I don't want to deal with a return if it doesn't work. So put it right there, deal with it later. What's the trick? You use your phone, you put the remote and point it towards your phone camera. And if it has the, the, laser in it or the infrared um you can see it in your phone camera that's the trick yeah the older ones that might be that one beam the phone there are remotes that don't have the infrared light so you can't use the cell phone trick yeah so that is an older remote so that could be the case but i don't want to deal with a return if it doesn't work so Um, what else? What else? I've got tons to list here. I did pick up this mirror with that turtle, that brass turtle I showed earlier. But I got this mirror. I really like it. But I want to comp it. So you learned something. Good job, kiddo. Oh my gosh. I go to AutoZone with hundreds of remotes, use their car fob battery tester works 100% of the time. Love that mirror. What's the back like? There's the back. Needs wiped down, I think. It's a little dusty. So I was about to do that right now. Very cute brass mirror. Um, I'm about to redo my bathroom, I think. And it's going like with a celestial vibe. And um, I thought this would be cute in there. If I can get this to turn. Okay, so it doesn't adjust very well. Rockstar Flipper tests all my remotes for me. What's that mean? What's the joke? I'm not getting the joke. <laughs> oh man, I can't get that to turn. Well, oh, because it hits the frame, that's why. But if I need to turn it this way, hello. There's 16 of you guys in here. I really appreciate y'all for chilling here with me. I really do. It's nice to be able to talk to you guys. Rockstar Flipper's entire business model selling boxes, mystery boxes and remotes. Oh. Some of these jokes I don't get. All I know is Roman's having a good time and you know what, that's all right. We, we, we like the good time, the good times here. To have good times here. Exactly, hit the like everyone. How many likes are we at? 11 likes and there's 16 of you in here. That's a pretty good like rate. It's over half. So, but yeah, this mirror, I thought about putting it in my celestial themed bathroom when I get that done. It's gonna be like gold colors and dark blue. I did just pick up this today because I thought this would work for it because it's got the sun. But, this mirror actually has a good sell or a good price to sell it for, I think. And that's initially what I picked it up for. 
So I might do that, sell that, and then buy a mirror that's actually like moon or star themed with gold instead. Because this one doesn't quite go with it. With it, So, excuse me. Uh, it was, what was it on eBay? Cherub? C-H-E-R-U-B? Brass mirror? Is that how you say it? I think so. Did I miss anything? Probably reproduction. Oh. Well. Let's check the back of this one that's sold that I saw. Either way, it's pretty. Maybe... I am gonna see my friend this weekend. So if it doesn't sell, or if it, it it's actually repro and actually not worth anything, I think she would like it. The screws are the giveaway. Phillips are newer. Oh, I see. Well, it's not. Oh, the screws on the back. Here's this one. It doesn't have the same handles as that. Well, now I gotta figure out what to do with it. It still has value, it could be vintage, just not antique. Yeah, I can't find one with the same handles, like, to turn for the, the mirror. Um, oh, there we go. 45, I see this one. No watchers on it, though. And it doesn't have the mirror in it. And they're calling it cast iron, but this is brass. <clears throat> Hello, Taco. Come here. <laughs> He's just sitting there. No, oh, even if I move the camera, you're not going to see him. Thanks for the info on that one. Well, shoot, now I don't know what to do with it. I could keep it, I could gift it to a friend, which I'm seeing um, on Saturday. Or, your cat was sick the last couple of days. Taco was sick when I came home. I could put it in the booth. That's another option. Things I'd have to hold on to it for a little bit. I paid, what did I pay for it? I paid a total of 35 for this and the brass turtle which if i sell the brass turtle i make my money back um so if i threw that mirror in the booth for i don't know 40 bucks is what i would maybe price it at if i gave her catnip today and she loves it oh so anyways guys i'm not gonna throw this on ebay so either gift booth or keep I don't think I'll keep it because I don't think my husband would like it for our bathroom, to be honest. But booth is a good option and gift is a good option. So we'll throw it off to the side there. If you want to sell the mirror, I might buy it for a gift I know. Well, let me know, Matt. I'm not fond of shipping that, but if it's for you, Matt, I will do it. Got these little mirrors. Wolfman's goodying. Good, good, goodying, I was gonna say. Goodies. Hello. Just put painter's tape across the mirror part. Should be fine. I would give this to someone else. What are you asking for? It'd probably be a pain to ship. I'm not super worried about shipping it. It's just the mirror. I don't want it to break in transit. Um, like I said, I'd throw it in the booth for probably like 40 bucks. That's what I was thinking. Anyways, I got these little mirrors here. I need, where is my pair of scissors at? Don't know. Well, 
or I'll gift it. Are you questioning my my packing ability, Matt? I'll just put 10 pounds of bubble wrap on it. That's that's fair. No, but my my friend, she's a gold girl and she loves gold. And she has a really cool eclectic apartment with like a, like kind of like my style stuff here, but it's her style, which is more like golds and like um, trinkety stuff like I've got here. But I think that would look really cool in her her place or or booth. Um, I don't know. I'll I'll think about it. But I did pick up that little turtle, and that alone will, should make my money back, I hope. I did just list it a little bit ago, so. Any more questions, guys? Ask me anything. I need a new, uh, new rag. This one's get pretty dirty, so the mirror is not getting cleaned up as much as I'd like. For listing so I'll at least wipe it down because they're pretty dusty anyways um keep the mirror at your front door to test for vampires vampires are welcome in my home <laughs> is sushi my go-to um no usually it's like I'd say mac and cheese but like, right now, I'm not feeling mac and cheese. Hi, Deanna. Like, right now, I'm not feeling mac and cheese. Sushi. Uh, sushi could be my go-to meal. I'm always feeling sushi. Like, I could eat sushi right now. That's a good question, Matt. I don't know. dropping stuff um where do you get shipping supplies I get um oh we got some good questions um I get a lot of my boxes and packing material for free I got the next door app and locally I'll put hey I'm looking for some free boxes and I have actually have a lady that drops them off to me every once in a while so i'll get boxes from her or packing material same with my parents they'll collect packing material for me otherwise i get rolls of end paper from newspaper companies um they don't have one here so i actually source those back where i'm from so every once in a while if i'm going over there i'll get the rolls there of paper which those last me forever and they charge me by the pound i get pa paper i was gonna say tape from amazon which I meant to get the my go-to tape from American Bubble Boy, but I totally forgot and ordered a case on Amazon. Um, I get my bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy. Mm, some boxes from... It's not labeled as such on eBay, but it's actually, once I get them, they're from Supply Hut. But I prefer not to support Supply Hut, but hey, they're giving me cheap boxes, so I'll keep getting them. Um... What else? Uh, with my eBay coupon, I'll also get poly mailers or bubble mailers. Um, actually, I've only gotten bubble mailers and then super small boxes, like 4x4x4, four by four by four, I think it was. Um, so yeah, that's where I get my shipping supplies. Do you have a favorite thing that you personally collect? I collect the Day of the Dead Barbies. You can see them right here and on that side. Um... What else? 
anything with like cats or skulls like I have that nutcracker right there that's a skeleton cat that Shekel sent me um crystals stones um anything weird I have like bone art over there or like anything like bugs in like a shadow box I, I like stuff like that so those are cool can you demonstrate how you pack a swung vase Mm, do I have something to like show? Basically, I have the vase, right? The ones I've sold are small enough that I actually keep the rolls from the inside of my bubble wrap tubes. Bubble wraps. They're the tubes that are from the inside. I get the swung vase, cover it in bubble wrap, throw it in the tube, bubble wrap that, packing paper that, really good, throw it in a box. Uh, if I'm particularly scared, I'll double box. That's how I pack it. Do you have a Granger close enough to drive to? Their box prices are solid. I actually haven't checked, but I know Grandma and Pops go to Granger. Is isn't that where they go? Speaking of, I haven't seen Grandma and Pops in a minute. God, just like how I pack Pyrex. Yeah, except I I keep those rolls from the inside of my bubble wrap tubes just for things like that, like candlesticks, swung bases, um, anything with like a stem or something that could be, you know, damaged really easily. That's what I like to keep those for. I also found these at the sale and I've sold these before, but it's a set of three and not four. So actually I might actually, I might wait because maybe I'll find them tomorrow, the fourth one. Which this has happened before. I've bought three and then I found the fourth one after the fact at the sale the next day. This might happen again. So I'm going to hold these off to the side. Wait till tomorrow because I plan to go back to the sale. Also got these cool little like mother of pearl coasters. There's more somewhere in here because I got two different lots of them. Uh, G-O-D-I-N-G-E-R, silver, little ring holder. I have edited my video and found what I should have picked up on day two. You mean like you, you didn't pick it up and then you saw in the video and you're like, oh, I should have got that. That happened to me a couple times. That's the painful part about watching some of that footage back. Oh, the bottom just fell off. Oops. Oh, it got moisture in it. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if I want to glue that back on or not. Mm. No. Clean that up. Okay. This is the little ring holder that I saw. And it is silver. Um... Let's look it up. Did I miss any messages? Yes, says Matt. How do you pronounce that? Is it Godinger or Godinger? Godinger? Silver? I mispronounced it once, I think, on one of my videos, so I actually cut it because I didn't know how to pronounce it. Godinger? That sounds about right. Silver ring holder. 1992. Now my phone's acting weird again. Hello? Phone? Silver Ring Holder 1992. We'll see. What we what is it worth? Um five to ten bucks. So this is gonna go in the booth, I think. Let's put like five bucks and call it good. A 
also picked up this really cute heart trinket dish. Why are my cats freaking out? noise over there. Hi Taco! But anyways, this I also picked up for the booth I think. Just cute little glass heart trinket dish. Nothing special as far as I know. I was scared about running out of stuff for the booth and God in go God Dinger. God Inger. God God Inger. Cool. So I was kind of saying it incorrectly. I think Ninja is my favorite. Here you can see. There's Ninja and Taco. And then just just chilling. Hi, Taco. He's like, help me. He's right behind this box. He's like, I don't know how to get over there. <laughs> I also picked up this Clippers. And if it works, it's like $100 Clippers. But it doesn't have any of the attachments. But I thought, well, if it's just this. But it needs to be cleaned up and tested. Which, I used to do hair, so it's like not hard to like test out the clippers, so I just like test it real quick, make sure it works. Clean it up though, I've got the cleaning supplies, luckily, so I don't have to worry about that. Slide this off to the side here, there we go. I also got this to throw in the booth, I thought it was very cool, very MCM. Cute little, I don't know, chip bowl or something. Set that down. Oh, what else do we got? Got an umbrella. Got these Toms for five bucks. I only got them because they're still in the box. Size 7. Oh, they got dolphins on them. Ooh, nice. You still have the Asian stool. Yeah, it's back there. Maybe at some point I'll throw it in my in the booth, but I really like it. Tom's Dolphin, size 7. Shoes. Because it's coming up with sports cards. <laughs> uh, 30 plus ship, 21 free ship. Women's eight is that one. These were released in 2022, I guess. I hate when people list and they put commas like after everything. So I go back in and delete them because I'd rather have that space excuse me, for, um, for keywords. Okay. 
Look at these though. They have dolphins. Adorable. All right, Matt. Thanks for stopping by. I gotta go here pretty soon. My husband's gonna be home from work. I only planned to be live for like an hour, but here we are two hours in. <laughs> Size seven. I'm just going to list them for 25 Does anyone else have any questions to keep it interesting? I don't know what to talk about. I really don't. Um. I don't really have anything else to list that's like not needing like to be cleaned or tested. Luckily I already listed like two boxes of stuff which is cool or like got it situated i guess i could list this fairy lamp here the one that i had earlier the little clear one let's see <laughs> my first flip it was a three Stooges puzzle that I got on the dollar auction for like three bucks and I sold it for like 25 or 30 bucks on eBay and what I used to ship for it was a medium flat rate box and the person was like I know you're just starting out but just so you know you can actually ship it out cheaper if you just do priority not the flat rate box. I'm working on some painted ponies and molds. Oh awesome. Those are cool. Question, how do you feel your no death pile plan is working? Um, it's been hard because, how am I going to say this? Um, it worked for a little bit. Then I started to pick up stuff that requires more attention and then I started stuff with the booth. So technically I'm still holding on to stock if that makes sense, not necessarily eBay stock. So technically right now I have a death pile, but also my main focus, especially the past few days, has not been eBay. It's been working on myself, working on the house. Um, so I've had a death pile. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I've just been kind of letting eBay sit on the back burner. Um, Yeah, been like taking care of myself more and like playing video games, like taking some time for myself because usually I work, work, work and don't take any time for myself. And I've also started just like focusing on the house, like deep cleaning, spring cleaning, working on the garage. You hear Ninja sneezing? Hi, Ninja. You see him right there in the corner? So 
so it's not going according to plan, but be okay with it. Don't get discouraged. I know looking at it can be that way. Death piles are simply part of the business. Yeah. I was happy to not have a death pile for a little bit. Um, I'm still working on it. I kind of talk about it in the videos coming up. Um, cause I'm going to be painting the floors in here. Cause right now I tore out the carpet and it's just concrete. So, um, I was kind of just letting things sell, but if I pick up anything more, I need to like get it processed. So that way when I do end up painting in here, it's not a bunch, it's not hard to move all the stuff. Cause I want to do it in like a weekend, paint one half of the office, move everything out to the garage or on this side or whatever paint it, move everything back. So that way I don't have to have time away on, just do it during the weekend when I don't have to ship things out every day, if that makes sense. I'm not super discouraged though. Like money's still coming in and you know, it's been, it's been going. Um, it's been hard also with our dollar and vet bills lately, but Cause she, we've had to take her a few times lately cause of this ear issue. Someday I'll have her on a video with me. It's just hard cause she doesn't ever come downstairs. I'm trying to find this fairy lamp on eBay. Okay, there we go. 30 bucks. I'm gonna put chipped and put it up for like 18. Has some chips. I also want to work on my listing area. Um, I do need to replace my poster board. And I just need to like improve some stuff. Just slowly working on it. Been a little burnt out too, which we also talk about on the podcast. And, um, but you know, the beauty of eBay is you can just stop and coast for a little bit. You don't have to work your butt off. I mean, in my situation, I don't have to work my butt off. I feel like I have to, but I don't have to. <laughs> so. Yes, check out the podcast, guys. We just reached 175 subscribers, so we'll get to that 200 mark someday. Where are those chips at? Any more chips? Any more chips? Chips and dip. Just the one chip. I've got like 20 ish D Department 56 houses all drafted and such. I just need to take the pictures. I don't want to. <laughs> the pictures part is hard. That's why I get my chair and I sit here and I talk with you guys because it makes the taking the photos and everything a little less painful. seven that chonker right there is seven he doesn't look that big from here but that cat oh nice ninja and seven they're about to fight <laughs> doing you seven is it payback for all the times that you bug bug the other cats all right we're gonna list one more thing and then I'm probably gonna head out of here I gotta gotta help my husband when he gets home go pick up a vehicle or something something's going on not quite sure what, but I gotta help him do something. Also got this umbrella at the estate sale. And it's got like 
this pattern on the inside, but I thought I'd keep it in my car because actually today it was raining and I was like, I don't have an umbrella for my car because it was like downpouring or something. So it's a really nice little umbrella. So I'll put that back in my car. Oh, I know what I'll list. I'll list uh, no, I don't want to list that right now. There's some boots, but I need to like put filler in them so the boots look good in the picture. Do I have one more thing to list? I guess I could list these. If they were fighting, you would hear see fur and spit flying everywhere. <laughs> nah, they just look at them. Look at Ninja sneaking up. He's creeping up. <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to start again. There they go. <laughs> and then just laying down with the snacks. <laughs> Anyways, I got these guys. You miss cat cam. Oh, Tog was here. He's not participating in the fight. But yeah, we got these little things. are these these are home co home co silver flower I'm just gonna put that I know I saw a similar comp on here when I picked these up. Maybe I need to Google Lens them actually. Okay, let's Google Lens, get this last listing knocked out. I have listed like 30 belts the last two days. Buy for a dollar and sell them for 15 to 30 bucks. Nice! I don't sell very many belts. Someone's got a set of four for 35, so I'll just do the two of them for 15 bucks. I don't know. Okay. For this one, I need to stand up. And you guys are coming along with me. Wow. Okay. Man, I'm getting hungry. I keep thinking about that chip bowl behind me. The chip and dip bowl. And I'm like, mmm. Some chips and dips sound good. <laughs> belts are hard. Most belts in Goodwill are well used. I only buy slightly used. 
some slightly used belts. Don't mind me moving around while I <laughs> take pictures. Alright y'all, anything else you need to say before I get out of here? I'm I'm pretty happy with the amount of listings that I got done today here with you guys. And I'm excited for sourcing tomorrow. I seem to get this area cleaned up so I can do some more listing tomorrow after I get done. Burr! Yeah, I want some chips and dip. We'll see. Alright guys. I hope you have a good rest of your Thursday. I hope you learned something today. Like with the remotes and the, the phone. Using the camera to test the remotes. And um, learn some stuff about maybe some glass. And stuff like that. Have a good one. And if me calling you kiddo bugs you to say the word, I'm just teasing. No, nope, you're good. A family friend calls me kiddo, so you're... <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you later.